let's get started then. As you can see, I have Lil Curbs here. He's going to teach me to be good, because as we saw last week, I'm not very good at this game yet. So we're going to step it up, get advanced in here. And we're going to start today with the most common trick ever, shell jumps. It's the it's like the first thing you think of when you think of Kaizo. So we got a Grand Pooh Bear level here that is going to teach you how to do shell jumps, different variations of shell jumps. It's going to be fun. So let's just go right into it. Let's start to learn the video game. Let's do it, dude. First things first, we need protection. Let's put on a shelmet. You know how to put on a shelmet, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. I don't know if you ever saw the uh, GSA speedrunning event. Like, I had to oh, fill yeah, in for yeah. people that didn't come, and, like, I didn't know how to put on a shelmet. It was so embarrassing, <laughs> dude. Anyway. <laughs> so that'll give you an extra hit point, but we already know that. I think the first thing that you have to learn to do a shell jump is knowing that you want to be holding... I'll kind of put my controller up to the screen, but you want to be holding the jump button, but releasing just the Y button, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure in like Mario Bros. like when yeah, you're fireballing using while Fire Mario, or... yep. it's pretty much that same thing. So just getting used to doing that over and over again is like the main movement here. Oh, yeah, just do that. Oh. it's easy. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> well, I guess we can just skip that one then. This next one is pretty much the same exact thing. You just time it with the box. So give it a try. Nice. Oops. I should just leave. I don't, you know what I mean. <laughs> so the next one is also the same timing again, except this time we're just throwing it back. Just like that. Mm, that didn't go as well. Not as well, but <laughs> we held jump the whole time. That's the important part. Yeah, so the reason that these are a little bit harder, these back shots here, is because usually you're moving like alongside the shell and you're delaying when you go off of it so you kind of oh. just like flick left once maybe kind of like that and you let it kind of ride a little bit maybe try that out i see just like that perfect now we got the drop shell jump which is a little bit different of timing than the other ones because in this game when you throw an item there's actually a little bit of delay right? yeah so when i, I hate throw the that. shell <laughs> it, it's very annoying to get used to, but when you drop something, it's it's, it's instantaneous. Oh. So when you're doing these uh, drop shell jumps, it's kind of like how it was in Mario Maker 1, where it's like near the peak of your jump, pretty much. We drop. Oh, it, yeah, it's not kicking it, which means I yeah, dropped it late, probably. Yep. If it goes on top of you like that, you mean it means you did it too late. That's probably... Too early i don't think i was even like yep. at the wall or something <laughs> it's a little bit easier in my opinion if you you take your controller like this and you just let go of both of them at the same time so what that looks like is it's a little bit earlier you're doing it but it's also a lot easier oh. see so you I got it, it first but i there. was yeah. slow or something yeah so just make sure that you're not holding down the run button after so like after it's after the shell goes to the left of you then you can re-grab it just like that. Yeah. So this next one doesn't look like it's possible. J just kind of try it the first time. Just on your own. See what happens. It doesn't look oh, like it's possible. Oh, this is one of those slope ones. Yeah. So the slope kind of slows down the shell so it like catches up to you just at the end of the, the jump. Yeah, that's super just cool. Just like that. Okay, I have the, these ones are a little 15 bit seconds to do whatever this obstacle is. All right, so I'll kind of just show it to you. So we're going to go in this claw and shell jump. Assuming you get the shell jump, but yeah. Nailed it. Still that normal timing how it was before. I think it's mostly the claw part I'm not doing right. Whoops. Yo, what up? I'm down here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he likes to kill all the Yoshis. Okay, we don't have time for this. Shell jump. Last try. I made it. He gets <laughs> it. <laughs> okay. There it is. And then this one is free, as Easy. we all know. <laughs> Easy peasy, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. This next trick is not easy. This is the double shell jump. Oh, there's Koopas so in there. So the way that it works is, well, you don't want to, you don't want them to wake up. Yeah. But. You're going to throw one up, do a shell jump, and do another shell jump. 
Okay, yeah, this is the stuff. So you're catching that second one midair and doing another shell jump with it. So someone told me that like you want the you want to be like two blocks away from the wall or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so when you do a shell jump, if you're too close like that, it's just gonna go right through you because it doesn't have enough space to actually like activate its hitbox. So you wanna be like around here, so. Maybe even a bit further. The further the better, I'd say. And we gotta do the double. <laughs> nice. Oh, no. Hmm. Yeah, the, the harder part of this for me is just like momentum than the shell jump. I like yeah. can't focus on the shell jump because I'm trying to space it perfectly. <laughs> it, it's very hard to get used to this one, especially. I heard Ugh. people taking like a few hours just to do this trick. Oh, then we level. gotta prove them wrong. <laughs> we <laughs> not doing that so far. Maybe not prove them wrong yet. Maybe with a little bit of time, but. <laughs> Two hours, more like two more attempts. Oh, oh. dude, I've every oh. time I've gotten the jump, I throw it upwards for some reason. All right, quick question. Are you using the D-pad or the joystick? I'm using the D-pad. Okay. So sometimes with the D-pad, it'll just hit up randomly. So that's probably why you threw up the shell there. Which do you um, use? I usually use joystick just because of that reason. Ooh. Okay. But if you if you like D-pad, go for it. I don't know why. You're still I, getting a little I bit keep too thinking, far on that. Yeah, I keep thinking I need to be, like, so close to the wall. But I just watched you, and you're, like, farther than I thought. Oh, oh that's it. That's it. <laughs> I, I did it. <laughs> that's it. That's the end of the level. We did it. We, we go beat. for it. Get, just get to the goal. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the class. So there's one invisible block here. <laughs> Right. Yep. And then the, there's Dude, this the is actually level. good. I so... wanted to do it again anyway. Whoops. Oh, dude, you can land on the shell and you don't kick it. Did you know that? <laughs> what a crazy revelation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to it's, land it's... through the sight of it every time. That's why I'm so bad. Yeah, I was curious if you knew that or not, but you can go right on top of okay. it. Okay. And it makes it easier. Oh, we're so close, man. So okay, I'm, I'm it's so it. easy. Okay. It's so easy. <laughs> Just, I recommend hitting it first. It's one block to the right. There you go. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you to hit it once. Thank I knew it you. was there. <laughs> see me after stream doing that shell jump 50 times <laughs> in a row by the way yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so that was our introduction to shell jumps right there and i think we can probably do one more that's like that one more shell jump level this one's by panga this time nothing wrong with it I even made sure I checked everything. So many smiley it's, faces. I'm questioning fun. what you're it's saying. It's very fun. It's very fun. <laughs> <laughs> Until the end jump. I don't actually remember. We'll have to see. <laughs> okay. But um, pretty much the same stuff here. Same kind of shell jumps. You know what to do. Wait. Oh, that was weird. So, yeah, it's a little bit easier if you get the, your, your running start there. Okay, so easy. Beautiful. Yeah, these ones are a little bit different because you want to get enough momentum to run, but you don't want to be like right next to it because then you won't hit it. So usually what I do is I kind of like left right with it. Oh. Like that. Yeah, I don't. The, the first one like messed up my brain. <laughs> yeah, what I would do is kind of stay on the ground like this and just barely press right. A little bit more than I did there because I didn't even get run speed, but just like that. You're such a good teacher. Or you could do like the <laughs> the left right, like I do. Wow, it's so easy. The left right, yeah. I think I, I find was... the left right to be easier. This is like a controlled shell jump, so it's a little bit harder. Um, so you can't just let go of both of them at the same time unless you do it super short, which is not gonna work for this one because you just won't make it. Um, and even doing that, it's a bit hard. So what you actually have to do is it's like. You let go of Y first, and then B very shortly after. And it's almost 
it's almost like releasing them at the same time, but not quite. It's like, ba bum ba bum you know? Mm -hmm. It's very close together. So you're kind of like lifting your thumb from Y to B in one motion. I did it the wrong order. <laughs> I, dude, <laughs> this analogy, my brain can't do it in that order. <laughs> I can't think about it too much, or I just can't do it the right way. <laughs> you just gotta do it. Oh, get there out. There you go. Not Dang. quite enough height, but that was the shell jump there. So I would try jumping a little bit later off the platform and it should work. Gotta throw it later. Okay. There you go. Perfect. So don't fall back down. You don't want to do that one again. No. <laughs> so let's just try to move on from that. This one is a lot easier than all the ones we've done so far. This one you just throw it back. It's a, it's a surfer shell jump. So you let it roll under you and then you can just hit it. So you want to release this one super early. Okay, that's there you not go. bad. So these are like, no, like you'll see them like an easier kind of shell jump level. You'll see a lot of those. This one's another one of those back shots, just a different way to to look at it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay, clutch. Dang it. <laughs> Wait, actual clutch? No. <laughs> not quite, not quite. Dang. But I think, like, the hardest thing about these is switching between, like, these kind of shell jumps where you throw them earlier and then doing, like, the actual timing for a normal one again. Yeah, I agree. And being able to uh, to know when to do each of them. Nice. That's the timing. And then this one is, I think it's just another drop shell jump like before. Dude, it's so hard to drop it up or down is like impossible in this game. <laughs> it is the hardest part, especially wait. Okay. So a little bit later on the on holding right. Oh, later on holding right. Yeah. Otherwise so everything was good. Yeah. If you don't right. have enough height on it, that means that you should hold right later. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just get hit by the spike and jump up. All right, there's your checkpoint. Dude, I, I almost died because I like didn't know I had to hold right. <laughs> yeah, you, you were scaring me <laughs> for a second. Um, But this is a new one here. We have not done an up throw shell jump, but these ones are actually, I think they're easier. So you're going to run up, and then when you line up with that box, you're going to throw it up and just let go of run. And then you'll knock it up and bounce it towards you. That's that's the timing oh. there. And then I need to like hold right sooner or something? Uh, a little bit later on that one. There I you see. go. Perfect. Um, so it's the same trick, except you're not going to have this one-way gate to actually like guide you. You're just doing it out of thin air. So after you throw it up, I'd say hold left for a little bit so you're on the uh the left side of the shell and then it bounces it to the right you'll get the timing like almost until you hit it is when you want to hold left i see but then that you might not get enough height from it so it's like you, you play around with it you can get that at that first one though I keep doing that. Dang it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the hardest part is bouncing on the mole. Okay, this time we'll do right, it in, in let's unison. Do it. Three, three, two, one, go. <laughs> I did my hey, class. <laughs> oh, super, super very, close. That was the right height. That would have made it up there. This is why speedrunning is crazy, because, like, everything speedrunners do is this close to not working. But they do it so yeah. many times that, like, they have, like, the tiniest bit of wiggle room, and then they just are able to do it every time. Mm -hmm. So the goal is to be, like, going into the shell while it's going oh. to the right. So you want to hold right a little bit sooner. Oh, that would have worked. I, dude, I get it. I know the missing yeah. piece. On this one. 
I understand. Oh. I have unlocked the secret. There I get it. it. That's I it. get it. That's it. I get That's it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. This next one is another drop shell jump, but you don't have a wall to do it. So it's kind of like the last one where you were controlling your momentum, but you're going to be dropping it this way. So you're dropping it midair, kicking it to the left side, and then getting on this cloud. <laughs> Close. So you kind of have to go left a little bit because you have momentum going to the right already so you're gonna hold left a little bit to kind of like go straight down and then you'll hold right at the right time so just timing where the uh the left to right presses are got it there you go so this next one is another drop shell jump but we're going the other way we're going forward so you kind of hold left to go straight okay. again but not quite it's like you'll still have momentum to the right but not a lot of it Okay, I'm nailing it super fast. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Dropped it too early. Okay. So when you're kicking the shell, you do already want to be facing right so that you kind of give it more of an extra push to the right. So that that means it's going to come closer to you sooner. You'll be able to make the jump. So even a little bit earlier than that, you can press right. Okay, so it looks like this. <laughs> the, there you go. It looks like that, right? <laughs> That's it. That's what it looks okay. like. Do you want me to tell you the surprise? You can probably figure out what the surprise is. Oh, there's a invisible block. There is. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the. Well, now you know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I do exactly what I did, but I hold left to bounce or something. Yep, just hold left for a little bit and avoid it. Okay. It's like it so different gamer, in my brain but... to do it standing still next to a wall versus like jumping towards it. But I guess it's just yeah. about the release timing and then it works out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the, re the way it looks is different, which also trips me up. Because like, let's say I yeah. have like a mushroom or something or I have a different power up. The timing is the exact same. It just looks different. So in my mind, it kind of feels different. Yeah. So it's kind of like, where is the timing exactly? It's like, you're kind of getting in now. I say just go for it. Oh, oh. Dude, I, I really tried. Man. <laughs> I held left. I, I tried to go left. Well, I, I guess at this point you gotta run out of time. I think. Unless you can do it right now. You can barely make it. Wait, you gotta go for it right away. I need the shell. Oh, I see what happened. <laughs> So remember what I said about the shell from the that section? You took it through the door. Yeah. And then it doesn't spawn another one. But you had it. Dude, I would. We all know I would have made it. I want to do it right. I did it right. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. So now, hold left as like right after you throw it. That was the timing. I literally did it right, but I let go of left <sighs> instead of holding it mm -hmm. all the way. Let's go. That's it. We made it. Let's go for the goal. <laughs> yeah. We'll save that for another time because those are... They're not necessarily harder. They're just not used as much, I don't think. I don't want to do this entire level, but there is one trick that I, I'd like to show because it's just really cool. So we're just going to do one of these sections, which is this one. Which I'm not going to tell you how to do. Oh, okay. I'm going to let you try to figure it out. I've seen this before. You have? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know what to do. You know what yeah. to do. So I think this was discovered like the first day. And um, it was, I think it was Dan Salvato. He made a level I did it. based on just this thing. And it's like the entire yeah. level. I think you that's where I saw it. it. This right here is like another variation of it, and okay. it looks cool when you do it. So you both have to time the shell throw right and also Almost. the jump timing. So that was really close there. No. It's like I'd say you want to throw it to the middle to the right side of that button. Just like that. <laughs> there you go. I think that's good for like the tutorial segment. Um, actually, there was oh. one more thing I wanted to do. One more thing. So let's go in Course Maker. 
So let's do New Super Mario Bros. U. Let's learn how to ground pound cancel. Do you know what it is? What ground pound canceling is? Yeah. But like fast. So that's like the <laughs> Yeah. So that's like the basics of it. What it looks like when you do it right is like this. So you're also adding like a twirl into it so you can stay in the air a little bit longer. Oh. The way you want to think about it is that your your like set position is holding up and then you're just pressing down and going back up to up. Do you know what I mean? Because the, the important part is that you're actually canceling it. The ground pound can't just... The next ground oh, pound... Oh, you can buffer the cancel? The next... Yes. Yeah, oh. you don't have to time it. But um, I think now we can start to try to add the twirl. It's... The motion is kind of like three different parts. So you start off the motion with the twirl, and then you go to the down input, and then you hold up. Right? So you're going... Twirl down up, twirl down up, twirl down up. But just a little bit faster. Oh. I think you're getting it a bit better now. Yeah, that's looking really good. And then eventually if you do it like this. Yeah, if you do it like perfectly, wow, you, you go do so it slow. really fast. Yeah. Dude, that is incredible. <laughs> You're going nowhere. <laughs> so there are levels that'll force you to do it perfectly, which are just incredibly difficult to do. Um, Because, like, you can't mess up anything. You can't mess up any of the inputs, and you have to do it that perfect for, like, 10, 15 seconds. And it's really, really hard. I guess we can use a level to learn 3D World Tech. Oh, okay. I was thinking maybe just do it in the Course Maker, but the level does it just fine, too. So if you see a double arrow like that at the start, that means you do a long jump. If you see the next indicator, which is the down and to the right, that means you do a, a roll. Just like that. When you're mid-air, does your input do anything to the roll distance? Uh, no. It Once you do it, it goes. You can't do anything about it. So you want to do it a little bit closer to the edge, just like that. Oh. 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 So like bounced two really quick wall jumps. Maybe I'm holding right and up and he did a spin. Maybe, maybe. Either that or you're doing it too far off the edge where it just doesn't register. Uh, I think he did a spin. Nice. That's it. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm a speedrunner confirmed. You sure are. <laughs> Let's start with, like, platforming. So in this game, you can actually control the level of where the poison is or where the water is. Um, so you can also have it, like, moving up and down. Yeah. Um, and that's what it's doing in this level. You don't even need my help for this. Just follow the coins. Oh, well. Looking good. Beautiful. Easy level. Little Curbs thinks he needs to train me on basic platforming. <laughs> Come on. Oh, uh, I, this was the warm up, okay? This <laughs> yeah, is the warm up. <laughs> Just joking. You're good, you're good. Okay. <laughs> Easy. I think we beat that on the same the frame. The same frame <laughs> on your stream. We're so synced. This one I think was pretty good. It has none of like the shell jumps, but it has like throwing items, which is also important to get used to. Yeah, I'm pretty awful at it. The key is holding jump. The key is holding jump here. Hold jump all the time before throw. Mm hmm. I just like read indicators that tell me where to throw stuff. Exactly. So in this one, you'll kind of see like, oh, Oops. there's a little thing. I threw it upwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so whenever you see like a box like that, that's going to be some kind of indicator. So if it's open towards any direction, that means you're going to be throwing or dropping it in that direction. 
Mm -hmm. So like for that one, it's, it was open to the right, so you're going to throw it to the right. If it's open upwards, you're going to throw it up. That kind of thing. I need you to teach me basic platforming. All right. That, <laughs> see, this is why we played the other one. Yeah. Just how to jump. Um, there's also another indicator that's special to this level. If you see, there's like a little open track, and that's going to tell you when the uh, the bullet blasters are going to go back down and back up. I see. Looking good. Okay, okay. I want to touch that. Wait. Uh oh. Oh, I was <laughs> supposed to. I see. Yeah, whenever there's like a question block, you always want to hit him. There's a bomb. Oh. Yep. Got there's it. always a bomb, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, that nice works. Save? That works. Oh. That'll yeah, work. Okay. I'm gonna stay there. Yeah. So you I've can... seen so many of those setups where like the spring or the shell comes out and like springs into use. I just like yeah. automatically did that. I guess. He's getting ready to hit this question block. He hits it. He takes the spring. He throws the spring. And now he's got the little barrier there. Kicks the shell, jumps onto the shell, waits for the bullet blasters, and jumps up. Oh. In, or maybe you you can wait. Okay. <laughs> what was <laughs> over to the right? There's like an extra red coin oh, for okay. like a secret ending, but that's all you need. Ah. Oh. That's good. Yeah, weird. so this is a lot of trusting the level and where the indicators are. Yeah, that one's weird because, like, you totally could just land on ground. Mm-hmm. Right, I can just land here and, like, oh, but... but there's probably Kaizo oh, Balls, yeah. Oh, I see. That's usually what happens. <laughs> I haven't seen the Poison Ball before. They look cool. It's a good purple that they use. I don't know what's happening. Just wait for it. Oh, Just wait. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't hold jump. Oh. Oh, dang it. <laughs> yeah, there's always a lot of like auto setups for those shell jumps like that. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of trust it, do a full jump, and hope it works. I just, the the speed, dude. I, it, the mole, it's the in moles my brain. You out. It's in my head. It, it, it's just because the moles. The moles suck. Herps is going to... Yeah, yeah I am going to die. That's not good. Cosmic, go faster. I, I'm... It's an auto-scroller. Um, I can't... Well, I'm going to see what's through this door. I... Dude, this speed... It's, it's ruining me. I think I should just jump from farther away and do, like, a bigger jump. <laughs> nice timing. Oh, no! Wait! You were, like, a frame from it. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Yay. It really is like nice. not even hard is the thing. <laughs> That's how I feel with every hard yeah, thing every after time I beat you've it. Done it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's not even hard. <laughs> oh, I didn't get the true Yoshi. I want to wall jump up here. so bad. If this was SMB1, <laughs> I'd be up there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just don't mess up the end. Dude, I want to make that now. Beautiful. I want to have a screen that says THX and they, they just think normal, thank you, but then I <laughs> play the sound somehow. Yeah. Like a music level. <laughs> Let's go for one, like, hardest thing I've beaten so far and maybe call it okay. a day. All right. That sounds good. Let me see what I got here. This one I think is good. I think this one's good. This is a 3D world level. Forest Busters Super 3D Hashtag TJ Hashtag Team Jamp Team Jamp, that's <laughs> it So these are like platforming levels With like tight jumps, that kind of thing Okay Maybe this level isn't as hard Maybe Oh, it's hard Maybe it gets harder 
the spike hitboxes are ginormous in this game. I'll, I'll always like, say it, but SMB1 is known for its bad hitboxes. This game's even worse. Yeah. Oh, it was like so far I mean, to like, the right. Looking good. Nice. Easy. Try and find out for yourself. Imagine first try? Nope. <laughs> have to wall jump off like the upper donut block. Yeah. And you gotta hold up into the pipe, which is probably the mm -hmm. hardest part. There you go. Oh, don't don't hold back. This time we're good. This is it. There you go. No, I tried. Oh. Ground pounding is hard. <laughs> this one yeah. for sure. It's not even hard. This one? That's the thing. It's not. It's, it's not, not hard. even hard. Just imagine that you're touching the flagpole and do it. You know? Yeah. Oh. My chat always says just don't die. Just do it. Just do it. So do Koopas fly out the direction, like I land on the left, they fly out the right? Yep. Okay. Looking good. Oh, I didn't oh, understand. My. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, he'll just walk up towards you. <laughs> there you go. Ah, gotta land on the P. Trust the indicators. He's got it. Keep trusting. Oh, I'm in a box. You did it. I did it. That's it. It wasn't even hard. <laughs> it wasn't. Oh, hello. Okay. I think that level was harder than the last one. You beat it way faster. Good stop. I feel like I haven't done anything really insane, like, oh, this is a sick Kaizo level I cleared, but I do feel mm -hmm. like I am way more prepared to attempt one of those now. Thank you, Little Curbs. That was very fun. I appreciate your time. Everyone get some claps in here for Little Curbs. We appreciate him coming on, making me less of a noob. Uh, I still feel pretty big scrub in this game, but <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I will not downplay the uh, help you just gave. It, it goes, I will go a very long way. You will. Guarantee, that's the, that's the curbs guarantee. You're gonna go <laughs> curbs <a long> guarantee. <laughs>